Hello guys, in this video I'm just going to explain how to set up your new iPhone from your existing Android devices. This is Asus Rogue Mobile. So I'm going to do the setups. I'm going to do the first time setups. So here I'm going to choose the language. Okay. And then country. Country you need to choose that. This country. And then continue. Set up without another device or you can choose existing devices here. So both should be in same Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is enabled. Okay, everything looks good. You can just choose set up without another device. So you can choose like this and then you need to choose a preferred language and then continue. And we need to connect to Wi-Fi. So I need to provide a password. Password is set. Okay, it is asking to update the software. As of now, I'm going to give update later. So continue. If you want to update, right, you can update it. Set up for myself or set up for your child and family. So I'm going to do this setup for myself. So if you want to enable this face ID, you can enable it. Set up later. Passcode. So passcode, you can skip it if you want. So I'm going to use this, don't use passcode. So I'm going to transfer the data from Android. So example, this mobile, right? Here, I'm going to choose that. From Android, I'm choosing that. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. Download the Move to iOS app on your Android device to get started. Okay, I need to go to this Play Store. Move to iOS. Okay, it is there. So I'm going to install it. Yes, it's installed. I'm opening it. Agree. So I need to give continue and agree again. So here I'm going to choose don't send. Location permission record. Continue. While using the app, I'm enabling this location. So here we need to tab this continue. So 843049. Okay, is the code settings so i need to enable this location first keep going back and i need to give continue find your code so i'm going to okay code is generated so i'm going to give continue eight four three zero four nine super code okay now what you want to transfer example messages contacts or calendar or google account or photo library. So whatever you want, you can choose it. So there is no data on the calendar, so I'm going to leave it. If you want to transfer the display settings and other settings, uh, I feel it is not necessary, but if you want to add some files, so you can add it here. So if any files, if you want, you can add it, or you can just simply select the folders. Okay, you need to choose a folder. So then again, you need to choose a folder. But anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it because I don't want any files here now. So just I need messages, contacts, Google account, Pro photo library, and then I need to continue. So it is ready on this iOS. I don't have much data in the photo library. It's just only seven minutes. So if you have right, I think uh, if you have 50 GB, then definitely it will take more than one hour to transfer the data. You need to have some patience. Keep this iPhone turned on and connect it to power until the transfer is complete. So both we need to connect to power. So I'm going to connect it to power. But this is just seven minutes, but I have 47 percentage battery. So here I think I have 80. So it's only uh, six minutes to complete. Super cool. Transfer is completed. So I'm going to tap then and here I need to continue. So here I'm going to choose this create Apple ID. So create Apple ID. So you need to provide your first name and last name. So I'm going to provide VK. Okay. And here I need to provide my date of birth. So choose your date of birth and then continue. So provide your email ID. And then continue. 
So I need to provide the password. You need to provide your phone number for verifications. So you need to check your messages. So I'm going to verify that. I didn't get the code. So I'm going to choose did not get your verification code. So verify later. Continue without your verified phone number. So I need to choose that. Continue. That's it now. So here I need to choose this agree. It's signing in. Update your iPhone automatically. So I'm going to choose only download automatically. So location services, if you want, you can enable it. As of now, I'm going to disable it. Disable location services. So that's it, friends. Now you can set up your cellular if you have, or you can just insert the SIM. So I'm going to do this setup later in settings because I'm not going to insert that. So set up later the CD and set up later the settings. So don't share. And if you want to choose any of this display, just choose that and then give continue. You can also customize the actions button to open camera, turn on flashlight or access your favorite iPhone feature. If you want, you can customize it. So you can select whatever you want. So even you can choose no actions. For example, if I'm choosing the right chart, okay. If I'm choosing flashlight, it will be flashing. So continue. Welcome to iPhone. So touch is on, switch on. Add your Android device apps from the app stores if you want. So we choose add apps, right? Already we have connected, right? So automatically all apps has been added. So from my Asus mobile, see what and all apps right is listed automatically to be added here. Save password for free items. Again, we need to choose save. So apps automatically added. So what and all apps is listed in my Asus Android mobile. So everything is added here. See? So you can see that, I mean, you can compare that. See all apps has been added from this app store. So that's it friends. This is the way you can just transfer your iPhone data from your Android mobile to iPhone. So this is Asus ROG and this is iPhone 15 Pro. Also, I'm going to verify the contacts which always exist. So you can check this under contacts. So whatever right I have added, that has been displaying here. Super cool, right? So contacts also added. Even you can check the messages. So even messages has been transferred successfully. And I'm going to wait for the photos as well. Even photos has been added successfully. So that's it, friends. This is the way you can just transfer your Android data to your iPhone new iPhone. So that's it for this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please for the comments and feedback from my Thank you. Bye and take care.